It was a history-making day for this nation, a nation still at war in Iraq and Afghanistan. The U.S. has now joined a third battlefront, firing missiles into another Muslim nation, Libya. A coalition of 21 countries trying to stop Muammar Gaddafi from waging war on his own people. Before the attack, there were dramatic images of a Libyan military plane brought down, not clear how, as Gaddafi forces continue to descend on the rebel strongholds. But what is at risk for the United States tonight, and what happens next? Our team has been reporting on these big events all day, and we'll begin with Martha Raddatz in Washington. Martha. Diane, the U.S. and its allies said they would protect the people of Libya, and that's what they're trying to do tonight. But there is no question we are at war once again, and the U.S. for now is in the lead. The first volley of missiles, a withering attack on Gaddafi's air defenses. More than 110 Tomahawk missiles launched from mostly U.S. ships and submarines pounded Libyan surface-to-air missile sites, aiming at more than 20 targets around Tripoli. The missiles were fired from some 500 miles away in the Mediterranean Sea just after 2 p.m. Eastern time, hitting Libyan soil an hour later. These strikes were carefully coordinated with our coalition partners. The targets themselves were selected based on our collective assessment that these sites either pose a direct threat to the coalition pilots or through use by the regime pose a direct threat to the people of Libya. There were no U.S. aircraft involved in today's strikes. Before the Tomahawks were launched, 20 French fighter jets flew over rebel-held Benghazi in a show of force, taking out one Libyan armored personnel carrier. The Tomahawk strikes will continue on Tripoli, Misrata, and Sirte. There will be no strikes east of Sirte, where the rebels are in control. This is just the first phase of a multi-phased operation. U.S. General Carter Ham is in charge, with Admiral Sam Locklear on the USS Mount Whitney coordinating the actual strikes. But once this initial phase of the operation is over, Ham and Locklear will pass command to a coalition partner. I want to stress, however, that this is just the first phase of what will likely be a multi-phased military operation designed to enforce the United Nations resolution. This is an international military effort, urged by the Libyan people themselves and by other Arab nations. The next phase will be the no-fly zone, which will be over Tripoli and rebel-held Benghazi, an operation that will involve hundreds of aircraft. U.S. F-16s will take part, but most of the fighters will be from Britain, France, and other allied partners. The U.S. will provide support aircraft, like air refuelers, communications aircraft, and jammers, so Gaddafi's troops cannot talk to one another. The first phase is supposed to last just a few days. What the U.S. military is watching closely tonight is how the Gaddafi regime will react to these attacks and what kind of response that might require.